All right, guys, what is going on? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today, we are going to be looking at the SCAR DDX. This is the direct, I don't know if I want to say competitor or copy of the Sundown SA Rev 3, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at this, reviewing it, and seeing what's got going on. Stay tuned. All right, guys, now here these sub is. Now this sub retails for $159. Now I ordered this from Scar's outlet store, so it did not come in a fancy box for me to show y'all, but that's okay. Nobody really cares about the box. The sub is what matters. So let's just take a really quick look at it. Now, of course, this light looks just like the Sundown Audio SA Rev 3. Um, a lot of people either like that or don't like that about it but we do have the exact same basket and similar motor and whatnot that is on it but we'll get into all that later anyway let's get a quick look just at everything that we got going on here now this sub is rated at 1000 watts rms and 1500 watts peak now i think that's a little odd normally when people rate them they rate them at you know the peak is double the rms it's kind of irrelevant but this only has a two and a half inch coil so i really think they Probably it would have been safer to rate it at 750 watts, but whatever, doesn't really matter. Let's just take a quick look at this starting from the top. We of course start with our dust cap, pretty stiff, but you can dimple it a little bit, not a big deal. And then we have a real stiff, nice paper cone, and then sort of a medium roll, not quite high roll surround. Got a little bit of girth to it though, pretty nice. And then we have a real nice gasket around the edge it's a real tough rubber material and then of course we'll get down here do you believe this is of course a cast aluminum basket and then we have this big old beefy looking motor so yeah this is a 202 ounce motor really nice big old looking uh top and bottom caps on it we do have uh, our center venting and then our pole venting around the edge and then we have our terminals real nice terminals really good springs in there nice and stiff looks like to be about eight gauge and then inside here we do have the flat uh, sewn in tinsel leads and there are two of them so that's pretty cool you don't see that a whole lot now they're not the big beefy flat uh, leads you'll see on some subs they are on the slimmer side but should be plenty for what we are going to be doing here we'll of course be testing this out to see how they perform but yeah another cool thing i noticed is that this has the kind of spider that uh, screws on so it looks like it would be really, really easy. If you did, if you did have to recone this, just unscrew it, pop out that cone and drop in the next one. So really, really awesome there. Overall, really good looking sub. Again, this is only 160 bucks, so that's pretty cool. But let's get this in the box and see how it does. All right, guys, we have the sub in there and hooked up. Now, I guess somewhat unfortunately, this is a dual four ohm sub, so it's only wired down to two ohms. Now, of course, we get some impedance ride, which is why you're seeing more ohms there. But yeah, we're gonna see a higher impedance than we would if this was just a dual two ohm sub, but unfortunately, this was the only version that SCAR had in B-Stock, so that is what I got.
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Now, as I said, this is a dual forum sub, unfortunately, and we're getting a bunch of impedance rise. So I couldn't get it quite as loud as I would have liked to, but I still could get it up into, you know, pretty consistently in the uh, 750 to 800 watt range without clipping, and it did just fine. Now, of course, this is rated to 1,000 watts is what they have it rated as. On a two and a half inch coil, that seems to be a little bit of an aggressive rating just from what other people rate their stuff at. I'm sure on clean power in the right box, it could probably do it. But again, I feel like that was just their way to kind of beat out Sundown's 750 watts. That being said, guys, I really have enjoyed this sub. Compared to the Sundown, it does seem to get a little bit lower than the Sundown, but it doesn't seem to get quite as loud. But yeah, that'll all be for a, another video. Anyway, guys, please stay tuned. I have the Sundown SA Rev 3, which of course looks exactly like this sub back here. So stay tuned. The next video will be a direct comparison of those two. We're going to look at, the, uh, of course, the build of the two, all the specs of the two, and then we'll play the same songs with each of them and just kind of see how they sound. And I'll tell you my opinion on which I think is better. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching that. Uh, before I end the video, just wanted to give you all who have stayed this long a quick little update on the Sequoia. Sorry, I have been really busy the last uh, two weeks. I've had finals and whatnot, so just trying to wrap up all that. But as soon as I get all that done, we will get right back into this. Now, at the moment, I'm just kind of planning what to do next. Most people have said that they would rather me just go ahead and run some wire and hook up an amp and sub in this. And honestly, the speakers in here at the moment sound pretty good. So I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that and hopefully put the box with the 212s in here. And then from there, I actually have some extra AGM batteries I had picked up. So those are going to be going in as well. And then I also am thinking about ordering a bigger amp. Uh, the 3000 watt amp is awesome. But what I've really realized is that when you start getting impedance rise and whatnot, your subs really aren't seeing the full potential of the amp, you know, down the one ohm or, or whatever. So looking into getting a bigger amp, and then we'll, of course, be upgrading electrical and whatnot to support that as time goes on. But yeah, that's the plan at the moment. Now, I do got to start pulling all this stuff out of the Jeep as I want to sell that soon. So probably going to take the little mini amp, pull that out, and make a video of me installing it in here. Super, super easy job, and I think y'all will find that interesting. And yeah, it'll be pretty cool. And that way, we'll get some more power on the speakers, and that'll be awesome. And then from there, we'll upgrade We'll probably do a simple door speaker upgrade first. And then from there, we'll look into adding tweeters and extra speakers and whatnot from there. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. That was just a quick update on Project Sequoia. Going to try to get back to working on this thing soon. Thank you all.